need that feature when I bought this. I thought, oh no, I'm going to be missing out on such a huge uh, feature that was so nice. I bet it would be super, super nice in traffic, honestly, but I'm glad it didn't come with it because uh, I didn't know how to heel toe, obviously. This is my first manual car, and that obviously forced the hell out of me to learn it. So, um, yeah. Yeah, if you, uh, if you, if anyone has like a 1LE, an SS 1LE, or Camaro with the rev match feature, don't let it be a crutch because even though most manual cars have it nowadays, some of the best still don't. A lot of Lotuses don't. The GT350, Shelby, does not. Focus RS does not. So don't let the auto rev match feature be a clutch because I'm sure I would have let it if I had that feature. So my conclusion for the auto rev match feature in manual cars is that it's not cheating, but you might be cheating yourself. I think active rev match is great for beginners and it does definitely help you go quicker, especially in a track environment. But as you grow more comfortable with your car and performance driving, I definitely would still learn heel toe as it is still a valuable skill to have. On a side note, I think it's about time we come up with a new term for heel toe downshifting. Maybe like double pedal downshifting. Cause in most modern cars, you notice you don't even have to use your heel at all cause the pedals are so close together. So. I don't know, maybe it's an outdated term. I'll leave you guys with that thought. It's going to be it for this video, so I'll talk to you next time. See ya.